Hey guys, it's Steven here. This video is about the best five Charles Schwab index funds and ETFs. Index funds and ETFs are a low cost, easy, and efficient way to safely invest. Not everyone has the time or expertise to research individual stocks. So investing in index funds and ETFs gives you the benefit of strong performance, beating out 90% of actively managed funds. Diversification, essential to spreading the risk of your portfolio. And tax efficiency, as index funds and ETFs tend to have significantly lower turnover than actively managed funds. At Charles Schwab, there are over 2,000 index funds and ETFs available, with 0% transaction fee, commission-free trades on index ETFs and most index mutual funds, and Charles Schwab is a low-cost leader in these products. Let's dive right in with number one, the Charles Schwab S&P 500 Index, the SWPPX, with an expense ratio of just 0.02%. The investment seeks to track the return of the S&P 500 Index. An index fund that tracks the S&P 500 is an absolute staple in any index fund portfolio. S&P 500 is a stock market index that measures the performance of 500 large companies listed on U.S. stock markets. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 1997, it has generated over 8% annualized returns per year and over 14% in the past 5 years. While past performance does not guarantee future results, the historic return is above average which is fantastic historic risk is average you're investing in big name companies. There will be fluctuations year to year, but it is an upward trend over time. The investment style is categorized as large cap blend, meaning there are both value and growth stocks. Top 10 holdings include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Berkshire Hathaway, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and Nvidia, all large stable companies you're getting exposure to all the big companies that make up 75-80% to 80 of the total stock market. Speaking of the total market, this leads into number 2. The Swab Total Market Index Fund, the SWTSX, with an expense ratio of 0.03%. A total market index is also another staple in anyone's portfolio. The investment seeks to track the total return of the U.S. stock market, as measured by the Dow Jones U.S. Total Stock Market Index. You are essentially mimicking the growth and buying a piece of every company within the United States. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 1999, it has generated about 7% returns per year and about 13.56% in the past 5 years. Historic return and historic risk is above average. Investment style is categorized as large cap blend and the top 10 holdings are the same as seen in the Charles Schwab S&P 500 index but with a lower percent allocation in its top 10 holdings and spread out over more companies. Let's move to number 3. The Swab International Index Fund, the SWISX, with the expense ratio of 0.06% to give you exposure to the international companies. While of tremendous faith in the growth of US companies, many countries around the world have fantastic companies. This investment seeks to track the performance of a benchmark index that measures the total return of large publicly traded non-US companies from countries with developed equity markets out of the United States. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 1997, it has generated over 4% annualized return and over 5% in the past 5 years. Historic return and risk is average and is also categorized as large cap blend. Top 10 holdings include companies such as Nestle, Novartis, Toyota, AstraZeneca, and others. When we look into which regions of the world the equities are from, we see about 60% of the equity is from Europe, 31% from Asia, 7% from Australia, and 1% from North America. For number 4, we have our first ETF to make the list. The Swab U.S. Real Estate Investment Trust, ETF, SCHH, with an expense ratio of 0.07%. This ETF allows us to add real estate exposure to our portfolio without the headaches of managing physical real estate, and currently gives a 3.36% dividend yield. 
The investment seeks to track the total returns of Dow Jones Equity All Real Estate Investment Trust Cap Index. This fund includes companies that develop and manage real estate properties, including apartments, factories, healthcare buildings, hotels, industrial mortgage, office, and shopping centers. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 2011, as generate about 6.3% annualized return per year. Historic return is below average, and historic risk is above average. Investment style is categorized as a mid-cap blend, and the top three holdings include American Tower Corp, Prologus Incorporated, and Crown Castle International Corp. While the returns for real estate investment trusts do not appear to be as great as the equity index funds, they provide the real estate exposure that makes your portfolio more resilient through all economic cycles. Finally, we get to number five, and if you're a fan of dividends, you're gonna love this one. This is the Dividend King, the Swab US Dividend Equity Fund, the SCHD, with an expense ratio of 0.06%, and a distribution yield of about 3%. A fantastic choice for dividend enthusiasts. This investment seeks to track as closely as possible the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. When we look at the returns, since its inception in 2011, it has generated over 12% returns per year and over 12% in the past 5 years. Again, to reiterate, while past performance does not guarantee future results, the historic return is high and historic risk is low. The investment style is categorized as large cap value. Top 10 holdings include Qualcomm, BlackRock, Texas Instruments, UPS, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, 3M, Verizon, Pfizer, and ExxonMobil that make up 39% of the top 10 holdings. There are a bonus three honorable mentions. For the more aggressive or long-term investor, if you can stomach the year-to-year volatility, the Swab Mid Cap Index SWMCX or the Swab Small Cap Index SWSSX, both with an expense ratio of 0.04%, could be worthy additions to your portfolio. This comes with a higher inherent risk due to less established companies. Mid cap companies between $2 billion and $10 billion and small cap companies between $300 million and $2 billion and the potential for higher returns with them. For the more conservative investor, short term investor, or if you want to reduce the volatility of your portfolio, the Swab US Aggregate Bond Index, the SWAGX, with an expense ratio of 0.04% could be an addition to your portfolio. Generally, as you get closer to your target retirement date, you want a higher and higher allocation to bonds. It also has a current distribution yield of 2.45%. Hope you found this video helpful. If you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos delivered to you. You guys have a good one.